All right, case uh, 16. What's this? Clear cell acanthoma. Yeah, this is a beautiful clear cell acanthoma, or as some people like to say, pale cell acanthoma, because the cells are not truly clear. They do have a kind of pale cytoplasm. And in pathology, we call a lot of things clear that are not really clear. You know, clear, like perfectly optically clear, where you only see white empty space. Um, we do see in some things, but we often call things clear cell that are really like pale gray, pale pink. The things that help you with clear cell acanthoma is it's an acanthotic lesion. It, the most helpful thing to me is this perfectly sharp, discrete cutoff at the periphery, right? It is, you can tell the lesion stops precisely there. And occasionally you'll see it skip. You can see that normal epidermis and then another little layer depends kind of how you cut through it. But the cells are pale and also they tend to, the pallor is not only because the cytoplasm is pale, but also they have spongiosis between them usually. So the discrete cutoff Acanthotic lesion with pale cells and sponge, usually you're going to have some scattered neutrophils scattering up in here. And at the top, you can have um, uh, areas that look quite like psoriasis, actually. You can have loss of the granular layer, confluent perikeratosis, and neutrophils in the corneal layer. Okay? <clears throat> this uh, occasionally, I've had time, I had one time where I, I was worried about a squame. And I thought something was squamous cell on a superficial shave, and they went back to excise it. It was actually clear cell acanthoma. So um, I uh, I didn't think of those as looking alike, but on a small partial biopsy, actually, you can. Or at least I've struggled with it before. So just pointing that out from my so my mistakes can help you learn. This is a not an H and E, but a PAS stain, I believe. PAS stain with diastase, so it's deleted, the, dissolved all the glycogen. So there's no staining. But then if we go to the next slide, which is a PAS without diastase, boom looks totally different. You can see pink everywhere, right? Because these cells, the pallor is due to cytoplasmic glycogen uh, content. So beautiful example of uh, PAS staining of glycogen in a clear cell acanthoma. And I feel like I see them most often on the leg, like the shin is the site I probably see them most commonly.